Tonight, we're going pretty much straight to the ugly. The stuff that we're gonna talk about, I didn't know. I'm willing to bet that lots of you don't know, and we weren't meant to know. Our history is being stolen from us, right from under our eyes. But the great part of it is, the great thing is that the history is hidden in plain sight. Anybody can go look at it if you're just willing to spend a little bit of time. How many people in the room know who the Colonial Marines were? I see two hands in the air. The Colonial Marines were black slaves that fought with the British in the War of 1812. Francis Scott Key was part of the American forces that met the British and the Colonial Marines right outside Washington, D.C. And the British and the Colonial Marines drove them back into D.C. and set the White House on fire. And one of the things Francis Scott Key said is, what if they all do that? Meaning the slaves. And so, how many people have heard the third verse of the National Anthem? No refuge could save the harling and slave. And this is our National Anthem. And the fact that we don't sing this verse anymore doesn't mean that it's not part of our history and culture. And the fact that we pretend that it's not there is simply a denial so that we can stick with our creation story. Every economist in America will tell you that 70 to 90 percent of everybody's wealth is based on intergenerational transfers. Now in 1865, right after emancipation, I get it, 0.5 percent of the wealth, but in 1990, 1 percent? Now, some people have actually said to me, well, Jeff, it doubled. <laughs> the Second Amendment allowed the South to arm their slave patrols. That's what the Second Amendment was about. That is a slave patrol badge from 1820. Law enforcement began in America with the need to control and keep down massive numbers of black and brown people. We still have a debate in America over what that flag means. I had a great idea. Why don't we go to, I don't know, the guy who made the flag? William T. Thompson, who was the creator of the flag, said very clearly what it was about. As a people, we are fighting to maintain the heaven-ordained supremacy of the white man over the inferior or colored race. And we still have a debate it's about Southern culture. And my response is, you're absolutely right. It is about Southern culture. And the culture of the South was a culture of white supremacy. President Trump has tweeted all kinds of stuff about how beautiful the monuments are and there's such a shame in taking them down. The Confederate monuments are built for one purpose and one purpose only, to honor people for what they did between 1861 and 1865. And what they did between 1861 and 1865 was to maim and slaughter American soldiers so that they could own people as property. How is it you've never heard of this stuff? It's because we weren't taught it. This wasn't a mistake. This was deliberate.